today we're going to be taking a look at the G10 BTS Bluetooth Air Mouse and Remote Control. If you're new to the channel and you like this video, press that like button and subscribe. There's not much in the box, but you'll find the user manual and the remote that has a few features, which includes Bluetooth 5.0, infrared learning, a six axis gyro sensor, 30 feet of operating distance, and it's compatible with most systems, including Android, Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. The remote build is pretty standard. It's made of a lightweight plastic and it uses soft rubber for the buttons, which does tend to pick up lint and dust pretty easily. Running through the buttons, it has a power button that's also used for infrared pairing when long pressed, a play and pause button, the air mouse toggle, the directional pad with the OK button in the center, the menu button, the return button, page up and page down, a home button, volume controls, backspace, and the mute button. The one button you may have noticed missing from this remote is a microphone button, which may be a deal breaker for those that like using voice assistance. Besides being lightweight, it does have a pretty nice ergonomic feel to it. And when you flip over to the back, you'll see that you can remove the battery cover to insert two AAA batteries. I'm going to pair this up with my NVIDIA Shield and I'll use an existing remote to start the scanning process. In order to throw the new remote into pairing mode, just hold down the OK button and the back button until the LEDs begin to flash rapidly. Once you see BLE remote showing up in your available devices, just use the old remote to select it to complete the pairing process. To start our test, I'm going to use the air mouse to open up a couple of apps. Going through this YouTube video, you can see that the buttons are very responsive and all of them work as expected, including the volume and mute buttons. To set expectations for any remote you choose with the air mouse feature, the air mouse feature may not be supported in every app you use as it's up to the developer to support it. Besides using your remote to control playback, the menu button will bring up your settings. And if you're using it with an Android box, I can verify that the power button does work with the Nvidia Shield and the new Google TV device. At the beginning of the video, I mentioned that this remote does infrared learning, which will allow it to use it with non-Bluetooth devices. To start the learning process, hold down the power button until the flashing LEDs turn solid. Once solid, press the button that you're looking to program. In my case, I'm going to be programming the power button. Then go over to the other remote you're looking to learn from and press the button you want to learn. Once your remote learns a new code, it will start flashing rapidly and then go solid again. Now that I'm done learning the power button, I'll press the play button to end the learning. So this is where I'm going to end the video today. All the product links can be found in the description down below. And since you're there, hit that like button and help the channel grow by hitting the subscribe button to get all the latest videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.